Welcome back fellas into this new video of TechPress. In another tutorial we show you how to generate an actual dropshipping store in less than 15 minutes. But today I'm going to be showing you how to build one product, Shopify, store in 14 minutes. To get this process straight, the first thing I want to be doing here is to locate it, which is the product I would like to sell. So we can do some job shipping, we can select your own product, this is totally up to you. But in this case, what I wanted to do is to do some job shipping. To do some job shipping, what I need to do, of course, is to have an actual website, uh, first of all, in order to continue. So the first thing to do, of course, is to go directly into the Shopify.com. And of course, it might be asking you to enter your own uh, information and all of that. So basically, what I'm going to be doing here is to start totally from scratch. So here into the home dust, what I'm going to be doing here is to getting started, of course, by generating your own theme. So here, for example, you have the store name, the product, and the Shopify element is to install a dropshipping application. For this, I'm going to focus directly into my products. I'm going to delete these elements so I can start totally from scratch. So I'm going to select delete the products, delete, focus into applications, and into applications, I'm going to choose the option that says dropshipping. Now I'm going to search the dropshipping into the Shopify app store. As you can see, there's tons of applications that we can choose from dropshipping. Now, once again, this is only for people who wanted to do some dropshipping. If you already have your one product already been added with the photos and all of that, and just uh, you can skip this part. Now, I'm going to open the one that says CG dropshipping so we can have now the authorization between the application and my website. Directly here into the CJ dropshipping, what I wanted to do is to look out for the right product to sell directly here into Shopify. So for this, I'm going to go directly here into dropshipping. I'm going to focus directly into, let's say, for example, that I just select the option that says gaming. And I wanted to select the right product. So I can scroll down and look out for the right product, which I, th I think it can be the best solution for a right product. Make sure that when you select one product, this one has enough images, more up to 10 to 5 images to import them into just one website. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down until I find the right product. This one even has a video gallery. So I wanted to select my product. And then I choose the option that says list. When you choose the option that says list, this is going to be displaying your actual website. Where would you like to import this specific product? So let's say add to my products or connect. And then we have the store selection. In this case, here is my Shopify product. The product type is gaming. The vendor, you choose your own name. Let's say, for example, that I go for Express Gamers. Add Express Gamers. Here is the title. Let's say, for example, headset gaming with luminous wired. Uh, let's say that I just type head wired gaming headset like this collection. Let's go for the home page. There's no text and into the brand pricing, the total drop shipping price would be almost $20. So what I'm going to be doing here is to import the, let's say, for example, this one cost more than $20, right? Like this $40. So I list them now and the listing is now appearing into processed. What's going to happen is that the all of the information about the variant pricing, the images, the beauty, the description, the title, absolutely everything, even the variants will be imported into my website. If I reload the page of my product, my new product should be appearing now directly in here. Now that you have the right product added into the Shopify, it is time to start with the element here. So first of all, what I'm going to be doing here is to focus into the online store themes. And I'm going to start with one product element. So here it says design your store in seconds. Let's say that this one says a store specializing in a wired headphone suitable for gaming music in general audio use. A one product store. And I go for generate the actual theme. This is, for example, generated with artificial intelligence to see how 
uh, the recommendations and all of this information actually works. Once you have up to three ideas, you can select the one that you liked the most, for example, this one, and you choose the option that says try the theme. This will be directly appearing here into the theme library. And it's going to be, of course, appearing here with the actual copy. Each time you see the version of a new update available, you want to cause to import them directly in here. So we need, of course, to focus into what matters most, which is now adding the actual whole product. Now, I'm going to publish my actual new element, and it should be appearing now directly in here. Right? So when you finish with this element, what I'm going to be doing here now is to start by customizing this specific website. So choose the option that says customized. In order to continue, this of course would be asking you of course to enter the right information of your product. For example, here directly into my header, let's say that we have this template. Let's delete all of this information and I'm going to delete even this template element. I wanted to talk only about this specific products. So in this case, I wanted to add, for example, this information, this marquee, and I'm going to head back directly into my product element. I wanted to download out all the videos and all the images of my specific product all into my downloads. And there we go, my product, uh, video, images, and all of those which are related into this product will be downloaded in no time. Once I have now successfully done this process, I can do exactly the same thing, but with uh, the images now. So let's go for download all the images, select the exact element like this, and there we go. Now I'm going to head back directly into my store, and into this specific marquee, what I'm going to be doing here is to start by adding the actual, let's go for video, upload my video, and let's go for my documents, and it should be appearing right directly in here. So I go for open, here are my five images that I'm going to be displaying here today. So let's say that I select this one and go for done. So here's my first image, how it actually looks, how it should look. And lastly, I can choose, for example, media number two, which is, for example, this one, hit for done. And here's my second image and pulled it. And lastly, let's say, for example, it says, Explore our latest product, let's say, the best headset so far. And there we go. I can change this for photograph. I can change the actual color later, color of the text. Um, there we go. So there you go. So once I finish with this information, I'm going to input more information about this one product because since this one is a one product store, I want to enter the right information of my product, which is the product section. So for example, let's say that I go for add new section and I wanted to talk a little bit more about this specific product. Let's say for example, that I go for this element, what says the layouts. I have the product featured carousel. I have more forms. Let's say this large logo. And into this large logo, I wanted to put this at the very beginning. I don't want to let them know to buy this product right away. I wanted to talk a little bit more about this specific product first in order to start selling this element, right? So I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna add now a new section. Let's say for example, more information about which is the actual product I'm actually selling. I'm gonna put this before this specific product. So it says new arrival. Let's say, what is the premium headset? And here, introducing our latest product, you can go for a shop. Now here into this button, for example, I can just delete it if I wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna select this element. I select this new image and there we go. So here is, what is the P headset? Here's more information about it. And down here, I wanted to enter a new slide element, a new section, of course, of my slide element, right? For example, directly in here or generate, for example, into the one that says a description of 
a headset product. And it's going to be generating this actual file. And here's the actual section going to be generated. This will be taking a little bit more time, but still the coding of what you're actually aiming for will be generated in no time. And you don't have to focus a lot into what you're actually aiming for just by adding the actual information of what you are looking for. This is going to be one of the greatest uh, sidekicks for generating your actual elements into your own website. So uh, just wait a few minutes till this information has not been correctly imported. You can continue to customize your store meanwhile you're doing much more. Let's say for example that I hit back. Here's my template section. I'm going to select this element. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this once again. And now for example directly in here into my new website element what I'm going to be doing here is to close this first of all and I add in a split showcase so select for example this one and I can choose for example two different colors so let's say for example we have the blue one and this one is the red one like this and down here Let's say that I add a new section and I'm going to add the new slideshow. I'm going to select this slideshow and what I'm going to be doing here is to delete this element of the color scheme and I'm going to be selecting the specifications of my product. Just like that. There we go. I'm going to head back directly into the slide for example and here into this specific slideshow for example let's say that i don't want her to see this specific group of elements so i and now everybody can now start purchasing my product so then i hit into this option that says safe then let's go for view your website and your website would be generated right away so you can see that we have this information um the product Here's my image, here's the headset, here are a few variations, here's the recommendation, and I believe that this one premium world headset would be appearing at the very first part of it. So I select this element, go for image, once again, course, and I select my product image, and I put it directly in here, and there we go. Lastly, what I need to do is to put this section uh, down below here, all my way in here there we go so once i finish with this specific product the last thing of course i needed to do of course is to start by adding my payments and my shipping so i'm gonna save this element i'm gonna go directly for settings and directly here for settings i'm going to focus for the option that says shipping and delivery you want to make sure that you activate the shopify elements uh, review the general shipping rates for a one product focus you can simplify the shipping to a single flat rate or free shipping for your primary target country uh, this is totally up to you of course and you can import them directly here into the general uh, general shipping rates and make sure that all of them have now appealed into the shipping zone that you chose and lastly here into this element that says the payments do you want her to make sure of course that you have enabled depending on the country you're currently living you might be seeing other providers for example there's Mercado Pago, there's the Bogus Getaway, there's the Air Wallex, there's the Integration User Pie, the One Way, and so much more. This totally depending on how would you like to get started. Now a one product store lives and dies by its single page availability to convert. So we can spend your half hour on high converting copies, on social proof, FIQ sections of course, sticky add to cart ensure your theme has a sticky add to cart button visible even when this user scrolls down this keeps the main cda always inside so with this being said guys we have now reached the very end of the video you now know how to get started with this great great weight element of uh the one product website into the shopify so for this information guys hopefully uh you have find this really really useful don't forget to like share and subscribe once again and well guys see you into next video